Okay. First thing you want to do when you uh, have to replace a purge. test the purge valve is you're going to pull out this clip in the back, you're going to remove the purge line that runs back to the fuel tank, leave it disconnected, and unplug the, the electrical connector from the purge valve itself. When you start the car up, if you start the car up and you've got vacuum coming out of this uh, fitting in the back here, you gotta, you're going to have to replace it. Let me just show you, I'll start it up. This is the uh, purge valve here, and as you can see, see it's got vacuum on there. With the, uh, with the electrical connector disconnected, there should be no vacuum on there whatsoever. So we're going to change this, uh, this purge valve and replace it with a new one. Be careful not to lose this clip, because you're going you're gonna to have a problem trying to get one if you do. All right, let me shut the car back off. Available, we get it right from the dealer. And basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to unplug your electrical connector, which you've already done, disconnect your line in the back here, and you're going to pull off the, uh, the feed line that goes right up to the, uh, the manifold. You just pull the fitting, and no one that fault that secures it down. push it over, and the valve comes right off. The replacement valve, you just take this, and you push it right back on, and the clip snaps right back in place where it's supposed to. You put it back underneath the, onto the manifold, catch your screw, once you have it caught, just bang it tight, just screw it all the way down. Doesn't have to be real tight, you just have to snug it because it's only holding it in place. That's it. And just to show you how I show there's no vacuum going through it, to confirm that your repair is done, you start the car back up. Now, if it's correct, you'll have no vacuum here whatsoever. And as you can see, there is no vacuum. Okay. No vacuum, so we know that the job is done. So basically what we're going to do now, we're going to go shut the car off. We're going to shut the car off. We're going to reattach our line that goes back to the fuel tank itself, slide it on, lock your clip in place, take your electrical connector and reattach your electrical connector to your purge valve, snap it right in, you can hear it, click in, and that's it. Put your cover back on, put your cover on, put your oil cap on, Put your power steering cap on, clear your codes out of the computer, and you're good to go.